Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw an anteater. It's gonna be real simple, really easy, so grab a marker, grab anything, and let's get started. Oh, one thing, this is for beginners, and it's step by step, like I said, so should be really easy for you no matter what level you're at. So just to make that clear. Anyways, let's get into drawing this anteater. So I'm gonna draw a line straight down for the anteater's nose. It's gonna be probing the ground. <coughs> line here for kind of the end of his nose or I guess mouth right nose mouth pulling up so this really simplistic shape right now before you forget uh, definitely click and uh, subscribe to the channel and be posting three times every single weekday for the foreseeable future so definitely want to stick around I'm gonna file all that stuff in playlists so that it's easy to find I'm gonna pull up here back could be the top of the head. Then I'm going to throw a circle here for the eye. And I'm going to throw a dot for the eye like he's probing the ground there. He has ears, so I'm going to throw a small shape over here for the ear. Just kind of a small, almost like a marshmallow shape. I always use that word, marshmallow shape. Right here as well marshmallow shape for this here and then we got the bottom of the face here we're gonna throw a large curve for the back right there we got his back and then another curve for his tail so we're trying not to go off the page here then we're gonna go down here for his front legs. Front leg there. Front leg here. Gonna go down here, a little round here for his paw. And another round here for his paw. Gonna pull upward. So, well, first thing I do, it's just gonna go up and it's got a lot of, he's got a lot of bushy like hair on him that's all hanging downward. He kind of reminds me a little bit of a, how do you say this? Like a broom kind of, that's kind of the way his hair reminds me of. So I'm gonna pull it up here and that's gonna extend outward here. And it's, I'm gonna throw jaggedy lines representing, you know, he's got like a furry kind of body. I'm gonna pull here for his stomach. And then I'm gonna find his hind legs right here, pull down. Pull down all the way. And then I'm gonna find that foot, that paw. I'm gonna pull up, pull out a little bit, also jaggedy. And then the jaggediness uh, is gonna continue from his tail. His tail's very bushy. Right here, jaggediness toward the bottom of the tail. That's kind of where it's hanging, but like, the consistency of that really, like I said, reminded me of like a broom kind of, a, you know, that kind of vibe. Uh, also, don't forget to uh, check the description after this. Uh, there is a free uh, How to Draw Cute ebook. Uh, check that out. That's a lot of fun. And that's totally for free. And there's a bunch of other links in the description. So I work really hard on that. Please check it out. All right. So next I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to draw the back foot over here, back hind leg. So I'm just, more, I'm just going to repeat that shape. So what you could do, which I like doing, is you could draw the nails on here. I'm gonna draw just straight lines as opposed to anything else. These straight black lines uh, on, you know, he has, I'm just gonna draw like two or three on each one. No, two in the back, three in the front. Cause he kind of digs for stuff. And I mean, a big part of his character is digging. Um, so I'm gonna do that. You could draw his tongue as well. You could draw as a single line or you could draw it it's kind of thick, this marker, but I'm still going to do it. You know, uh, that's kind of like this really cool evolutionary um, kind of byproduct he is. Where he, I mean, he can reach into stuff and like pull out a bunch of ants. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then there's also a color change. Um, and you can choose to do this next part or not. So I'm going to draw with a thinner line. So I'm going to not put as much pressure on this. And I'm going to pull up. 
pull back across. He has this interesting pattern on him as far as color goes. And I'm gonna throw a wiggly line here. Wiggly line here. Another wiggly line here. And then he has that, that kind of pattern on him, but you have to make it light so it doesn't like interfere with the rest of the design. But that's it. That's a that's a cartoon anteater. I hope you found that easy. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. If you're huge on animals, hit that like button. I'm going to try to go through and draw every single animal I can possibly draw. If you have any suggestions for any animal I have not drawn, please go look through the file and um, let me know in the description. Also, I say hi to everybody. I reply to every single comment. So please comment and I'll talk to you soon.